sound art, art made out of sound. In today's world where we're overwhelmed with flickering images on our televisions, our phones, and our laptops, I welcome the chance to talk about art made exclusively from audio. Sound art has been around for a really long time, and there's many people with many opinions on exactly what sound art is, and for that matter, exactly what art is. And those are tough questions to answer, so I can only tell you how I do sound art. For me, sound is a raw building block, much like paint is for the painter. I'm attracted to sound because of its power. One way to think about the power of sound is to imagine you're in an art gallery and you see a painting that you just don't like. You can quickly turn away. But when the fire alarm goes off, there's no escaping it. And it's this power of sound that attracts me. We tame sound by organizing it into music or mixing it with dialogue and language for radio. And of course, it supports video and film. It's rare that we think about sound for sound's sake. But sound is in our subconscious. Think about the sizzling sound you hear when your mom's cooking dinner and what that might mean to you. Or the whistle of a train as it pulls away with someone you love and what that sound might mean to you. Sound is visceral. It's nuanced. It's emotional. It has symbolic weight. It has historical weight. And it affects our subconscious. I work with sound to articulate ideas. I'm actually a conceptual artist, and sound is my preferential medium. I love the power of sound to communicate experiences. Right now, I'm very interested in how we selectively edit our personal histories. And I'm moving so fast past my slides, and I want to be coordinated here. so. Right now, I am very interested in how we selectively edit our personal histories. I've been looking into it deeply as a conceptual artist. And the way we selectively edit our personal histories is that we collect photographs of how we want to see the past. So I've been looking at photo albums and thinking about that and how that's a visual-centric practice, how we collect photos to understand our identities, or we post photos on Facebook to create how we want to be seen. And I wonder what it would be like if instead of collecting photos to construct a personal history, if we collected sounds. Imagine what you could relive. Imagine the experience you could have if you had recordings of your life, a set of time-based recordings of your past. And imagine the editing possibilities. You could take out the bad days. You could double up on the good days. You could put in that friend that was absent before, get rid of the friend you didn't want to be there. You could recreate an entire past and relive it experientially over and over again. And I think that's a great metaphor for what sound art is, because that's what sound art is for me. It's layering recordings, things that have already happened in the past, editing time, taking things out, putting things in taking things out from the past, editing it in the present for an audience in the future. Sound art is time-based art. That's what it is. The other thing that I find very interesting about sound art, if it's sound for sound's sake, is if there's no imagery, your mind can wander. And you can fill in your own blanks. And you can really experience sound in a new way. And that's unique to the medium. We don't decide for you what you see. You're part of the process. And so now we're going to go into a little bit of sound art. We're going to go to a place in the 1980s that was called Devil's Cave. It's a real place. It was behind the Copley YMCA in City Heights. It's not a cave. It's a 10-foot manhole. It's about a mile long. And as kids, we dared each other to go in it. And we were scared of it. And one time we did.
What happened in Devil's Cave? Did anything happen in Devil's Cave? What happened when you were listening to that? That is what sound art is for me. It's very experiential. Uh, if you would like to talk about it more with me, I'd love to chat with you. Thank you so much for giving me the time to talk about sound art.